What's going on guys, it's your casual gamer and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the 3DS emulator on Android called Citra. Now this app is free to use and available on the Play Store. There's also a site that has an Android APK version called Citra MMJ that focuses more on speed and performance which is good for high-end phones while the Play Store app focuses more on quality and will work better with lower end phones. Not everyone has a high end phone, so I will be using the Play Store version, but if you want Citra MMJ, I will leave a link in the description below. Also, before you download this emulator, make sure that you have your ROMs in a dedicated folder on your phone and that they are extracted into a .3ds file type. To do this, I recommend downloading this app here called 7-Zipper. You can get this from the Play Store and it's free to use to extract your 3DS ROMs. Okay, let's go ahead and open the Play Store. Search for the Citra emulator app. This is what it will look like. Install. Once it's done, open. Allow Citra to send you notifications. Allow. Allow Citra to access photos, videos, music, and audio on this device. Allow. Now we have to select a folder on our phone that contains our 3DS ROMs. In my case, it's this folder at the top, 3DS games, and then hit select this directory. And your games will be loaded into the emulator. Now let's go to settings in the top right. And let's scroll down to graphics and tap on internal resolution. Now you can turn this up all the way to four times if you have a pretty powerful phone. If you do not, you may experience stuttering and lagging in your game. So your performance issue may be fixed by coming back here and toning down your resolution. I'm gonna go three times. Okay. We're gonna leave everything else here on default settings for the best performance. And let's go back and go to gamepad. To map out your buttons, first make sure your controller is connected to your phone and then all you want to do is tap on the button you're ready to set up so we can start with the A button. Just tap on it and then you have to hit whatever button you want to be A on your controller. Tap B, hit whatever button you want to be B on your controller. Repeat the same thing for X, Y, select and start. The circle pad will be your left analog stick. Press up slash down, then move your left analog stick up or down, left slash right, move your left analog stick left or right. The C stick will be your right analog stick, up slash down, move your right analog stick up or down, left slash right, move your right analog stick left or right. Then set up your D-pad and your triggers. Now let's load up a game, and I'm gonna do Sonic Lost World. Allow Citra to record audio. This is your choice. I'm gonna do Don't Allow. Citra needs access to your microphone, okay. Now you're gonna notice that even though we have a controller attached, we still have the on-screen touch controls. To get rid of these, swipe from the right of your screen, hit the three little dots in the right corner, go to Configure Controls, toggle controls and you're going to unselect each one of these buttons and then OK and those buttons will disappear. Now right now I am holding my phone in landscape mode. If you turn your phone to portrait you will notice that the layout will change. Let's turn it back. Let's swipe the right of our screen again. Let's go back to those three little dots. And you will also see that here you can access your save state, load state. You can go back into your configure controls. You can swap screens, which will basically make the right screen, the left screen, and the left screen, the right screen. And if you want to see your frame rates, you can turn on show FPS. Also, if we go to landscape screen layout, you have the option to make your game single screen. I'll show you what that looks like. Now the only bad thing here is that sometimes you will need that second screen. Now let me show you what the side by side screens look like. So it's up to you which screen layout you want to choose, but I prefer to leave it on default.
Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.